Welcome everyone to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. This time we are going to be unboxing, and it actually doesn't say it in the name, but this here is one of several 2012 collector's tins starring Evolzar Dalka. So the thing about these tin products is that basically starting from around that year, Konami would release them in waves. Uh, this one alongside another one were actually 2012 collector's tin wave 1, um, and, but then there was a wave 2 and then a wave 2.5 for certain years. I think maybe only one or two years had that. So it says wave 1. Um, as far as how I'm going to be uh, you know, unboxing these collector's tins and if I'm going to be doing all of them, I'm going to try, but there's so many of them. So I'm honestly not entirely sure if I will be able to, um, you know, um, find one of every single tin out there and, you know, do that. So just letting you know. Alright, there we go. Finally got a little bit open. And sometimes these products are a little, little tricky, you know, without scissors or some kind of sharp object to start it off. But once you get that first hole, you're in for the clear. That sounded so horrible. Just ignore what I just said. Alright, so this here, now with this wrapping on, we can take a look at it a little bit easier, you know. But that's how it looks. It's a standard size tin, you know, um, and it's not like the other one that we did recently, the Zexel Collection tin, no. This one, oh, it's a little hard to see because the lighting is, you know, being metallic here, but as you can see, it says it includes uh, three uh, Photon Shockwave booster packs, two Galactic Overload booster packs, one Secret of Ozar Dalka, and then four Super Rare cards, which are Gen X Neutron, Scrap Dragon, Dark Highlander, and Wind Up Zen Main. So, um, those are what you can consider the variants, basically. But what's interesting, about this particular product is that from these variants, which I will go ahead and um, remove that, which I will go ahead and um, you know start with right now. This top one actually, Evolzer Dalka, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know uh, go ahead and open up right now, is actually a pretty valuable one. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this card in itself, despite it being a quote variant is actually worth upwards to $13 by itself. It is very pricey. Um, so yeah, if those are doll cuts, fire, uh, ring four, four dinosaur type monsters, or two level four dinosaur type monsters. Uh, during either play, if you when a monster pack activates, you can detach one X used material from this card and negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that monster. This one, alongside, uh, what is it called, Lag Lagia? Um, essentially made those, you know, the year of 2011, the end of 2011 with the whole Dino Rabbit deck. A very powerful engine indeed. So, yep, gonna go ahead and put that one there. And we got a couple others. Here's Genix Neutron. During the end phase of the turn this card was normal summon, you can add one machine type tuner monster from your deck to your hand. During the end phase, sadly, what? How did that happen? Mm. Oh well. Scrap Dragon is next. This was definitely a very good card back when it first came out. It's generic. You can target one card you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. That might sound bad, but if you know anything about scrap monsters, the scrap archetype, they want to be destroyed because they trigger effects. When it's destroyed by your opponent's card, um, target one non synchro scrap monster and give us special summon it. See? If this card gets destroyed, that's what I'm saying. So, yep. Now, next one is Dark Highlander, another synchro. This one is Fiend though. Neither player can Synchro Summon. Once per turn, you can target one monster opponent control that is equipped with an equip card. Destroy all equipped cards equipped to that monster, and if you do, inflict point damage for each card destroyed. A little oddly specific. And then Wind Up Zen, Zen Mains. Zen Mains. It's a generic, um, generic Ring 3. Yeah, but. There we go. You can detach one of the material. Once per turn, during the this card, and target one control, destroy it during the end phase again. So, if you're wondering, uh, all four of these cards at the bottom are not worth anything. They're not valuable at all, but um, Evolzer Dalka, once again, let me go ahead and show it to you one more time like this, is worth upwards to about 13 bucks. So, we're just gonna say 13 bucks in terms of price for estimation here, but yeah, that's a good card. All right, now what we're gonna do is take a look at this here, and they are, um, they're five packs. Gotta get them all out of there. All right. Um, you can always use these tins for storage, of course, to simply remove this annoying thing. And there we go. You got a nice little storage unit there if you want to use it for something, you know. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is just put the tin back on and keep it on the side right there while I continue these unboxings. So, or by this point, it's more like an opening because it's just packs now. So basically, um, you get two uh, Galactic Overload packs and three Photon Shockwave. 
pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and start with, um, I'll start with Galactic Overload. There's definitely some good stuff in here like Neo Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon or Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon, which I believe is in that one, yeah. Um, and there's also like um, a Photon Shockwave, I guess you don't know. You know what, I'll just get to that in a little bit, but um, it has crazy good stuff like Rescue Rabbit and stuff like that, so um, yeah, just letting you know, you know. Alright, I mean, a little bit of struggle here. There we go. I was like, what's happening? Okay. Alright. Let's see, we got Hieratic Seal of Supremacy. Special summon one Hieratic monster from your hand. Whoa, okay. Good good stuff there. Light Ray Daedalus, oh my god. I always thought this was interesting. Cannot be normal summon or summon. Must be a special summon from your hand by having four or more light monsters. In your graveyard, cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn, you can target one field spell card and two other cards in the field. Destroy them. Considering how crazy field spells are and that people play them right away, I always thought, you know, pretty interesting, but not bad. Nimble Manta. Alright. This is basically uh, like Nimble Momonga. Uh, I should be there, you know, a little bit of a reference. When a filter gave her by card effect, you can suppose I'm in any number of N Nimble Manta from your deck. Hieratic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Look at that. Zero attack, zero defense. Level 8, what the heck? What's next? Dimension Slice. When a monster is special summon to your side of the field, for you one page of monster opponent controls, banish that target. If the summon is an Xyz summon, you can activate this card to turn it with set. Alright. Okay, we got number 25, Force Focus. Wonder how valuable this one is. Two level 6 monsters, once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. To target one face-up level 5 or higher effect monster opponent controls, negate the effects of that opponent's face-up monster until the end of the turn. Whoa. Pretty good for a negation, it's just a shame that it's two level 6 monsters, it's not exactly an ideal engine. Unlike 4s and stuff, you know? Alright, so I'm gonna put this stuff over here on the right side, actually. Um, Insector Firefly. Okay, we have some Insectors in here, as you can see. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Uh, and then we got... Um, butter, butterfly oak. All right. And lastly, moonlit papillon. This is for butterfly. Okay, cool. So that's our actually one. What I should do is uh, remove the rare from there. Go ahead, and, go ahead and put commons there. The rares go over here. All right. Here's pack number two. We're gonna do this. Okay. Same one as before. Got another Hieratic Seal of the Sun Dragon Overlord. Okay, so sorry about that. I have to, have to uh, take care of something really quick. All right, but that's that one. Insector Ladybug. Okay. The Momenta again. Getting all these reasons, huh? Hieratic Seal of the Dragon King. Now this one I don't believe. Oh, it's a Gemini monster. This one I don't believe. Um, I had actually gotten any other pack. No. Hieratic Dragon of. Of. Tough knew it. Oh, I, yeah, that's right. I know, I know this one. I was like, what the heck? Okay, so that's the rare. Let's see. And... Ooh, nothing. So, it's crazy that I pulled an Ultra on the other one. Insector Earwig. Sounds good. Hieratic Dragon of Newit. The other one's Tough knew it. This one's knew it. Okay. Nitwit Outwit. What the hell? Okay, and then... Butterfly Oak. Same one as before. Okay. So that's that. That's it for that pack. Now it's time for the Photon Shockwave packs. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. I'm very curious about this because Photon Shockwave is actually one of my favorite sets. I don't really think I've ever really mentioned that, but it is. Shark stickers. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the new pile here, I guess, because, you know, technically it's a different pack. So, Fiery Fervor. Okay. A traffic control. I cannot declare an attack. Got it. Okay. Sealing ceremony of Sweeten. Evil Soar Volcano. When this card is special summoned by the effect of an Evolta monster, you can target one Evol Soar monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. It cannot declare an attack. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. People. We pulled 
An ultimate rare. What the heck? This is an ultimate rare. I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see on camera, but not really. I mean, the easiest way with near ultimate rares is that you can actually see the, the, uh, oh my god, now it's dark. Hold on. There we go, much better now. I accidentally blocked off the light and it's turning dark, but as you can see, it's not handling the ultimate rare very well because it's making it dark. Whoa, Photon Veil. Shuffle three light monsters from your hand into the deck, then add one to three level four lower light monsters from your deck to the hand. If you add two or more monsters, they must have the same name. Oh my gosh, this thing is definitely going to be worth something. I'm putting that... You know what, this actually goes over here. You know why? Because that's... That's Photon Shockwave side, alright? We got a Voltile Gefrio. Gefrio. Okay. Vylon Ohm. Okay. And Zen Meyer. Zen Meyer. Okay, well... That's cool. It's all good. Alright, so I'm just going to put the commons over here now. So I'll just put the rare, and we're kind of running out of space because I'm trying to put everything, you know, here when I probably shouldn't be doing that, but it's fine. It's all good. All right, next pack here. We got two more. All right, here we go. Rye Rider. That's our first one. Evolutionary Bridge. All right, that's for a Voltile. Wind Up Bat. Evo Miracle, more Voltile, so much of Voltile, this was, this was the age of a Voltile, you know? Photon Cerberus, that's the rare. During the turn this card was normal summon, neither player can activate trap cards while this card is face up on the field. Let's see what we get. Oh, nothing else. We got Raby Dragon though, I'm gonna put the rare over here. We got Raby Dragon, okay. Cross Attack, one thing I should mention is that Raby Dragon technically has more stats than Blue Eyes. Um, 50 less attack, but look at that defense. If you add it up, yep, more attack. The same, little random fun fact that's not really relevant. Cross attack of all Lance Lord, okay. Cool. And lastly, Champion's Vigilance. All right, that's it for that. And we're gonna put the commons right over here. And we got one pack left. Can we pull something great? We've actually already gotten two. I mean, we, we have two cards that for sure are valuable. The ultimate rare. Evolzar, Dalka. Um, we also pulled an Ultra Rare, which I believe has some value. I need to take a look at that, but... Okay, Traffic Control. Okay. Sealing Ceremony of Switch, and same thing again. Rye Rider, same thing again. Evolutionary Bridge, same thing. We're pulling all the same ones. Copy Knight. And a little 4 lower warrior type monster is normal summon to your side of the field. Special summon this card is a normal monster card with the same name and level as a normal summon monster. Still treat it as a trap card. And okay, we at least pulled a super rare. I mean, I'm not complaining there, you know. I don't think it's gonna be worth anything, but it's something. Tribute one dark monster with 1500 more attack. Destroy all monsters that were special summoned this turn. Cool. That's a super rare. Nice. I will take that. I'm gonna put this over here. And our last ones, we got a Raby Dragon. We've already seen that before. Cross attack. I don't remember if I actually did I see that one? I don't know. And then Lava Lands for the same thing as before. Okay, we got a lot of common duplicates. I didn't notice that. All right, let's take a look at some some values over here. All right, so I'm back with this, and sadly, there really wasn't too much here, believe it or not. Um, so Dark Knight, despite being a foil, is not worth anything. Same thing on this pile with all those. The Bowser Dock is worth 13 bucks. This card is worth about 150 to two bucks. So, I mean, I guess we can round up to be a little generous for ourselves. So the two dollars in a good day. And this card was actually one of the less valuable um, ultimate rares. It's worth about $3. I was surprised. I was literally shocked. I was like, what the heck? But you know, it's worth three bucks. So if you do the math, uh, that's, you know, 16, 17, 18, maybe a dollar in bulk, uh, maybe a little more. I don't know if you want to go around up to 20 bucks in a very good day. Uh, the product I didn't mention, but from Amazon, you can get this for approximately $26. So if you get some pretty good pulls, you can profit off of this fairly easily because this card already gets you half of that uh, that expense, 13 and 26 for the whole thing. So pretty interesting, pretty good, but I do highly recommend stuff like this, tins that are not so overly priced because you can actually get some pretty good pulls. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, this video in any way, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.